Did he miss a chance to find Kaylee Anthony's remains months before they were actually discovered? And one of Casey Anthony's lawyers under fire coming up. Financial misconduct accusations and what role they could play in Casey's trial. The case against Casey Anthony is the big story tonight at 6. Good evening. I'm Jim Payne. And I'm Martha Sagowski. Just a short time ago, Casey's lawyer, Jose Baez, finished questioning Richard Kane, but the deposition itself is not over. Now, he is the deputy who was reassigned by the sheriff's office after he found nothing but trash in the same area where Kaylee Anthony's remains were found four months later. We do have big team coverage of the big story. Dave McDaniel reports that one of Casey's lawyers is under a misconduct review, but we start with Bob Kaling with new reaction from Jose Baez and what his ultimate defense in this case will be. This is certainly an ongoing saga here, Bob. Absolutely, Martha. And Kane was able to stay out of the view of the cameras this afternoon. Baez isn't giving a lot of specifics because he's not done with the questions. But the last couple of days, including today, he's given us plenty of hints about what his ultimate defense for Casey's going to be. They're three hours. Whenever you take a deposition, you learn a quite, a, quite a bit. And, uh, of course, we plan on being as thorough as possible. Jose Baez says they're not yet done with Orange County Deputy Richard Kane, who on this day might as well have been the invisible man. Questions surround what he did or did not do on August 13th, the day he met up with meter reader Roy Cronk. For his part, Baez says he hopes this deposition gives them more clues about Cronk, too. You know, we all want to know what the mystery is behind Mr. Cronk. And I think uh, his deposition and uh, his testimony is critical, so we, we need to look at it. Mystery perhaps a missed chance to find Kaylee's remains. And the revelation in court Thursday that defense expert Henry Lee found 17 hairs in Casey Anthony's car that investigators apparently did not. Dr. Lee went in there, he inspected the vehicle, and he took them to school and basically showed them many items that they did not find originally. Now, when you take all of this in total, the missed items in the car, perhaps Kane's missed chance to find Kaylee, and then this mystery that Baez is talking about concerning Kronk, when you put all of that together, hopefully he hopes that it will be enough to create reasonable doubt in the case against Casey. Reporting live at the Orange County Courthouse, I'm Bob Keeley, West 2 News. The latest member of the Casey Anthony defense team is under fire. Authorities say Todd Macaluso from California is under review because of some bounced checks. Now, West 2's Dave McDaniel continues our big story team coverage live in the newsroom. And Dave, will this affect whether he can legally get involved in the Anthony case? Well, that'll be up to the judge who has to approve whether or not a state attorney can actually practice law in Florida. Jose Baez first introduced Todd Macaluso to the judge at a hearing March 2nd. Macaluso at that time told reporters his special is cross-examining witnesses, especially expert witnesses, and we know there will be a bevy of those in this case. Now, here's why Macaluso is being reviewed by the bar in his home state of California. Seems in a disciplinary action filed in January, it is alleged that checks were written on a trust account in his control, and there wasn't enough money to cover the checks. In his response to the bar, Macaluso said his office staff made a mistake while he was out tending to his brother's sudden and unexpected death. Macaluso Luso has asked the bar to either find this was an honest mistake and the case dismissed, or at least one that is forgivable. It's not clear if the pending case in California will impact his ability to work as an attorney here. Reporting live in the newsroom, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. For big coverage of the case again.